And it says, we will guarantee your paychecks uh, and we will also keep you with your benefits. And New reporting has come out showing that Pramila Jayapal and Nancy Pelosi clashed during a meeting over the new House bill. Now, I'm going to get to what this House bill centers and what it doesn't include, which is Pramila Jayapal's uh, idea of a payroll uh, guarantee. So before I even get to the reporting on the, the disagreement, uh, Pramila Jayapal uh, has introduced the Paycheck Guarantee Act. So this covers 100% of workers' wages up to $90,000 a year. And it also guarantees continued benefits like health insurance. Now, I wouldn't even say this plan is all that progressive or left wing or whatever. I mean, this is this is essentially getting companies off the hook and covering their employees and ensuring that their employees are paid. So yes, it is getting money to workers, but it is not direct cash payments and it is not a, not a, uh, a universal basic income, which is what I support. But this is a way to ensure that workers are be are able to be kept on the payroll and continue receiving uh, checks as long as this crisis uh, continues. But let me get to the disagreement here, uh, reporting from Politico. So they write, there are already signs of dissatisfaction among some Democrats. A caucus call among House Democrats on Tuesday evening grew contentious as key progressive leader, Representative Pramila Jayapal, confronted Pelosi about a liberal policy priority being left out of the next coronavirus package. Uh, multiple Democrats on the call described the exchange as intense. At the very end of a two-hour call, Jayapal complained that her bill, in which the government would temporarily cover payroll for struggling businesses, was left on the cutting room floor. The Washington Democrat voiced concern that the legislation was largely being written behind closed doors. Jayapal's bill did have support from across the Democratic caucus, but senior Democrats point out that she had no bill text, no budget score, and no Republicans behind it. <laughs> Let me pause there. No Republicans behind it. You will only ever hear this from the Democratic Party. Think of the reverse. Have you ever heard of a scenario where, let's say, Mitch McConnell in the Senate, Mitch McConnell um, didn't pass something because, let's say, Tom Cotton, Tom Cotton, another senator, came to him with, with an idea to pass a, a bill. Uh, but Mitch McConnell told him, well, you know what? The bill looks good, but you don't have any Democrats on board, so we can't go through with that. <laughs> Has that ever happened within the Republican Party? No. But when it comes to Democrats, it's all about how much can we give in to Republicans? Because ultimately, Democratic leadership answers to corporate interests, many of the same corporate and wealthy interests that Republicans answer to. So when it comes to leadership like Nancy Pelosi, like Chuck Schumer, like Steny Hoyer, they are going to listen to what their donors want and not what actual workers need. Going on here. In response, Pelosi disputed Jayapal's comments about a top-down process, arguing committee chairs have taken member input in the drafting of their specific sections, and she reiterated that Democrats would keep exploring Jayapal's proposal when there is text. Pelosi ended the call by having House Ways and Means Chairman Richard Neal reiterate that his committee preferred the employee retention tax credit instead. The rare display of drama from Jayapal, which... This is a weird way to frame it. Display of drama. How about a rare display of fight for working families? But anyways, a rare display from Jayapal is a reflection of broader concerns within the caucus. Several members feel that House Democratic leaders have written trillions of dollars worth of legislation in the Speaker's suite without meaningful input from rank and file. And of course, that is 100% true. Nancy Pelosi is not listening to the needs of actual uh, of the people that are living uh, in districts under democratic um, control. Now, here's i uh, I'm going to show you this because Jayapal responds on Twitter, essentially confirming the disagreement. Manu Raju of CNN tweets out, emerging Dem stimulus bill not expected to include the Paycheck Guarantee Act, prompting pushback from Pramila Jayapal in tonight's Democratic caucus call per several sources. Dem critics say the plan is too difficult to implement in the short term. Pramila Jayapal responds, quote tweeting that saying it isn't difficult it's just about having the will to do so and goal of stopping mass unemployment what's worse than difficult is devastation we are facing and worse we have redlined changes for current proposal that could be enacted right now 
hashtag Paycheck Guarantee Act. And if you go on Pramila Jayapal's um, uh, Twitter, I mean, she is always, she's been tweeting about this. She's been fighting for this Paycheck Guarantee Act. So she has been very vocal about wanting to pass this. And it is really one of the true rare cases where I'm seeing a Democrat actually fight leadership, actually fight Nancy Pelosi when it comes to trying to get help directly into uh, people's hands. Now, uh, Pramila Jayapal goes on, uh, went on MSNBC on May 9th and discussed uh, her act in more detail. What's the one biggest way in our brief few seconds, one biggest way that the PGA would be better than the PPP before we go? Well, it prevents it prevents mass unemployment. It actually has the federal government go directly to the business. It preserves that relationship between workers and businesses. And it says we will guarantee your paychecks uh, and we will also keep you with your benefits. And the business also gets an operating cost on top of it. So it's all businesses, regardless of the size of business, because if we're protecting paychecks, we should be protecting paychecks for everyone. And it does not use banks to try to get money to people. That's just an extra layer. Why not go straight from the federal government to the business and stop mass unemployment and keep it going until the economy reaches a certain level? It's what most countries around the world have done, not just European countries, but also Singapore, Malaysia, South Korea, and we can do that too. Stop mass unemployment, keep paychecks coming, keep workers with their benefits. Now, this clearly seems like a no-brainer, but here is what just happened. Uh, tweeted out from Lee Fung here. The bill is out, meaning the Democratic bill. Pelosi is bailing out corporate lobbyists. That is where the focus is. So uh, 501c4s and 501c6s, these are groups that are, C4s are, are lobbying groups, and uh, C6s are like uh, uh, chambers of commerce, business leader groups. So that is where the focus here is. House Democrats' new CARES Act proposal would expand PPP loan eligibility to all lobbying groups, all chambers of commerce, um, with under 500 employees. <laughs> it's just like, it is truly amazing how little the Democratic Party is doing. Again, this is the democratically controlled House. So just going back to, you know, this idea that uh, Democratic leadership wanted Republicans on board with Jai Paul's idea. It is the democratically controlled House. What they should be doing is passing exactly what Jai Paul wants, including passing a lot more, also passing a universal basic income, doing this and then going on television and yelling about how Republicans are, are obstructing, are obstructing these paychecks to workers, are obstructing families getting real money. I mean, that is what an actual opposition party would be doing. But instead, what they're doing is even behind closed doors, they are capitulating to Republicans. Yeah, you have to get leadership out. You have to replace Nancy Pelosi. Shahid Batar, Shahid Batar is uh, challenging her. Uh, there is no threat of a conservative winning that race. If you are in Nancy Pelosi's district, good lord, make sure you go out and vote for Shahid Batar. It's going to be him or Nancy Pelosi. You have to replace Democratic leadership. That is the only way to get these idiots out. And have some potential of an actual leader, maybe a leader Jayapal, uh, in control of the party.